so you'll know first. This is First Alert Weather. Now when you have rain showers like we just saw, yes. and you have sunshine, which we just saw, yes. you get rainbows. You get rainbows, that's right. And uh, we do have one lone shower out there, and like mm -hmm. Johnny mentioned, that moisture is just going to get evaporated up yeah. pretty quickly. It's going to add to the humidity, which... Oh, good. <laughs> we need more of that, <laughs> yes. right? Please, well, please like, more. Yeah, well, <laughs> we're going to get more. And uh, let's take a look right now at live radar. And right in the middle of your screen, there is that one downpour that Johnny was just talking about a few moments ago. You can see it there on the south side of town. So again, that's the one downpour I'm focusing in on. It's nothing severe, but we'll zoom in a little closer to it. So going down 71 Highway south of downtown uh, near Westport, near the plaza, near Loose Park. Uh, you have a downpour approaching a uh, Swope Park as well. This will very slowly just continue to meander, very slowly trying to make its way to the south here. So uh, uh, one or two more of these downpours could pop up this evening. Otherwise, moving forward, our main weather headline will be that heat that builds in next week. Monday through Thursday now, those are impact days, as our high temperatures will be in the middle to upper 90s, about as hot as we've been so far this year. And the heat index could get up to 110 degrees. So it's just looking more and more likely we're going to get that heat up into that uh, dangerous range there where you might want to consider adjusting outdoor plans if you have them during the afternoon to earlier in the day or in the evening because of that increased risk for heat illnesses. And the reason for this heat will be our setup. We're going to see that heat build in from the west and it's going to be locked in, not just for us, but really majority of the Midwest for most of next week. Hopefully we'll start to see some relief. It'll still be hot, but some relief by late next week. For right now, though, there's that hazy sunshine. That one downpour would be off to the left of your screen here. We're at 89 degrees at dew point. That's that measure of moisture in the atmosphere. Katie was talking about that during our noon newscast. It's high. It's almost at 70. So plenty of moisture in our air. Upper 80s heading through the evening. That hazy sunshine, a very slim chance of a shower. Heat index levels will hang out in the 90s here between now and about 8 o'clock. And then it's just muggy and uncomfortable after that for late evening hours. Tomorrow, more the same, 90 degrees for your high temperature. So if you have outdoor plans on your Friday, typical summer heat, temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s by midday. The heat index will be in the middle 90s, a lot like we're seeing right now. And then here come our series of impact days, Monday through Thursday, as highs will be in the middle to upper 90s, but it's that heat index that makes it feel even worse. You can see here, we get into that maroon shading, even some of the white. So heat index values 105 to 110 a possibility. So again, keep that in mind. If you have outdoor activities, outdoor work, Monday through Thursday looks to be the worst of it. After that, Friday and Saturday, hopefully not quite as hot, but still temperatures reaching those lower 90s. So a reminder, of course, that hot weather can cause you to change your normal routine. Something to be aware of and to be thinking about right now for next week. And those hot and humid conditions, especially when you're talking about day after day after day of it can affect your health. So good hydration, breaks in the AC. If you know those that don't have uh, a good uh, cooling for their home, make sure you're checking up on them that they're doing well. Again, we're going to look ahead to when our temperatures could get a little cooler. That's coming up.